My name is Eric Smith. I'm a boat builder trained in New Zealand, naval architect and composites engineer. I've been designing and building hydrofoiling boats, uh, mainly in the sailing world, since 2010. Yeah, I mean, well, many people think that hydrofoiling is new. It's actually like 100, more than 100 years old. The first boat was foiling before the first aeroplane actually flew. Uh, but I have been particularly focused on hydrofoils since my undergraduate days. When I started designing this boat, I was heavily inspired by the works of uh, Japanese designer Kotaro Horiuchi, who was a true pioneer in hydrofoiling. Among other hydrofoiling concepts, he developed the single track hydrofoil, which basically has like one strut in front of the other, and the whole boat could be controlled like a bicycle. The benefit of controlling a hydrofoiling boat like a bicycle is that everybody could learn it in a matter of minutes because it behaves the exact same way as a bike. When building and designing this boat, the main goal was to make it as easy to use as possible. So we focused all of our efforts in making it behave exactly like a bike. The boat will respond in the same way as a bike. So everybody that has that knowledge could fly this boat in less than 90 seconds. After testing the prototype for seven months and changing uh, foil configuration, foil positions and weight distribution, uh, we found the optimal balance for this type of boat. Once this was achieved, anybody could steer and fly this boat in no time. Once the prototype worked in all conditions and it was reliable and user-friendly, we committed to design the final version of the concept, the one that would go into production. Coming from Argentina, I was a big fan of uh, Fangio and his Formula One uh, cars from the 50s era. I noticed if you would flip the car around, it could actually look like a boat. The single-seater configuration made a lot of sense to keep the boat slender and aerodynamic. I not only looked at uh, Fangio's cars, uh, but a range of Formula One cars all the way to like the 1970s style, uh, mainly classic cars like the Lotus 49, for example, it was a great inspiration. The entire boat is built out of carbon fiber composite materials. Um, it's just like a Formula One car. And the reason is that because we have an electric propulsion system and, and lithium batteries are heavy at the moment, we had to make the lightest craft possible. On top of being really light, carbon fiber allows the boat to be really stiff, which makes it very responsive to each of the pilot's commands. The height of the boat is controlled automatically, and it's a mechanical system that basically uses a surface sensor to move a flap. The flap is in the front foil, which is also the steering foil. The pilot does not have to fly the boat. This is completely automatic. So you only need to worry about steering the boat. The propulsion is in the back foil, where we also have an elevator on top acting as a ventilation plate. The boat has two torpedo batteries, one in the front compartment, one in the back compartment, and they power a 10 kilowatt motor on the aft foil. Even though the height is automatically controlled, you can still choose to fly higher or lower depending on the sea state. So by turning a knob on top of the front vertical, you can adjust these parameters. So if you really want to push it uh, harder and it's flat water, you can fly high. And if the weather is more choppy or you have like big swell, you can choose to fly low and more stable. Just by turning a knob on top of the front foil, uh, you can adjust the right height. The boat is steered by moving the handles on the cockpit. The advantage of having split handles is that there is nothing in the way for the pilot to get in and out of the cockpit. We have two batteries on board, five kilowatt hour each, which enables the pilot to cruise between 20 to 25 knots for two and a half hours, giving a range of like around 50 nautical miles. The boat takes off at 10 knots and it quickly accelerates to cruising speed between 18 to 22 knots and our top speed is 30 knots. Once you get foiling, the boat is really easy to handle and you can carve and you can glide and you can always push it further. The boat is incredibly maneuverable so you can do really sharp turns and carve really hard. The boat could bank 
45 or more degrees into any turn. It's an incredibly thrilling experience to fly the boat, hear no sound against the hull anymore, accelerate, feel the wind in your face, and then you can take it for a cruise or you can go like really, really fast on this craft. I try to follow strongly Da Vinci's philosophy for design, which is that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. After four years of development, we are thrilled to offer this product that enables anybody to fly in no time. When was the last time you tried something for the first time? Now is your chance.